all right so welcome back to the car vlog y'all this is this seems to be the perfect time with good lighting that i could sit here and eat my lunch and share a little bit of knowledge with you all because that is the ultimate goal like i said coming back for 2022 i just want to come back stronger with the knowledge so that you all can have the best experience you can have in the military with that being said since i spent a little bit of time in a, in the senior leadership positions i don't know if that made sense since i spent a little bit of time now in senior liter leadership since I spent a little bit of time now in senior liter, oh my God. Since I've spent a little bit of time now in senior leadership positions, I feel like I can speak on some of the things that people go through from that aspect or from that level. So number one, uh, I hear a lot of gripes and complaints from usually lower enlisted and I was one of them, so I'm not faulting you all. But a lot of gripes and complaints from lower enlisted about how like the chain of command is trash, how leadership sucks, how leadership is toxic, how the military is the worst thing in the world. And what I said in previous videos is your perception is your reality. But and, and I'm not I'm not denying that because I've had toxic leadership. I've had poor leadership in the past. So that is a thing. But I caveat that to say hey so if you like what you see so far and you feel like I'm providing value go ahead and hit that subscribe button it really does help out my channel and if you want to see the inside scoop the behind the scenes of my everyday life make sure you're following me on Instagram hey everybody army princess here and welcome back to my channel for those of you all who are watching me for the very first time I am army princess US Army soldier I've been in the military for 15 years now and I love to share my experiences with you all to help you all become the best service members you can be and with that being said leadership is something that is taught you know what I mean like and I know people would like to say well you know a, a leader is within you and and everybody's not a leader so for the people that become leaders because of their rank but don't innately have that leadership quality in them, I think those people need to be taught. And if you aren't taught, you can be, you can be, how do I say it? You can be held with a lot of responsibility and you don't know, you don't know how to handle the responsibility. And that's what I'm seeing now that I've risen up in the ranks and I'm at the position that I'm in. I've been here at my new duty station and had the pleasure of having great leadership. Leadership that is competent. Leadership that communicates well. But I've also been on the other side of the coin where I've had leadership that was horrible. That did not communicate well. That literally sucked balls. Um, and I think for the lower enlisted, so what I want to convey for my lower enlisted people that are in the military or thinking of joining and they're hearing all of these horror stories. Number one, is not the case for everybody at every place. Like I just said, I got here and I have great leadership, but I have been to places where I have had horrible leadership. But there are a few things you can do as the person on the lower end of the totem pole because that is the majority of my subscriber population. People on the lower end of the totem pole as far as rank. Um, there are a few things you can do. You can communicate with your leadership. That, that's the number one thing I, I would do. If you feel like your leadership is not communicating with you, then you can go and communicate with them. Hey, sir. Hey, ma'am. Hey, um, sergeant. X, Y, and Z. Like you can be the one that's in the loop. You shouldn't be the one that's sitting back, that's waiting on the information, waiting for somebody to come tell you what to do, waiting for you for um, leadership to explain how to do things. If you want to get promoted and if you want to be a go-getter and if you want to be in the know, then it is up to you to be the motivated individual to go seek the information. Don't wait for it. Go seek it out. Now there is a chain of command and I'm not saying jump the chain of command and go do your own thing. But what I'm saying is don't be the person that sits back and wait for the information and when it never comes you're the disgruntled person don't do that number two i and i feel i don't want to say i'm making excuses because i'm not making excuses because like i said there there has been some horrible leadership but what i will say is put yourself in your leadership's shoes now, if they just all the way jacked up and horrible, then they just all the way jacked up and horrible. And those people need to exit the military stage left immediately. If you got a leader that you can see is trying, you know what I mean? And they may not have it all together, 
put yourself in their shoes because I tell y'all the seat that I'm sitting in now is a little less hot than the seat that I was sitting in when I was in Virginia. But being in charge of a bunch of soldiers and you got taskings coming down back to back to back, you got everybody with their own individual problems that you have to kind of tend to and, and, and mediate and fix. And you got your own life, your own family, your own kids with their issues. It's a lot. Like, it is a lot. And like I said, I'm not making excuses. But if you have a person that is not strong in that area, they're not organized, they don't really know what they're doing, and they get put in this leadership position where they have to do these things, it may be a soup sandwich for them. Put yourself in their shoes. And I would. the only thing I could say is try to work with them. Try to... Um, see it from their perspective and if you that gung-ho soldier if you that soldier that um, you know is motivated hard charger you may be able to help them out I'm not saying it's your responsibility to do it because as an NCO you have a certain amount of responsibility but like I said sometimes it's just a lot going on and depending on what your your platoon looks like and who you are in charge of if you got people that never get in trouble that always do the right thing it's a little bit easier but if you got some some mixtures of some people that do their own thing and you got leadership not being um held accountable above that person and you got all the other stuff coming around it could be a lot for that person so um, those are the things that I wanted to speak on as far as just dealing with leadership that people may may assume or present as toxic or, you know, incompetent. Sometimes people just don't know and you don't know what you don't know. It's up to you as the individual that is being affected to do what you can do in your control in the in the scope that you have. So, like I said, being on top of things, doing the right things, um, being in the know, looking up regulations, trying to get the information as it comes to you will help you in the long run so that you can be better prepared and able to communicate things. So don't sit back and be that, that soldier that sit back and wait. Be the motivated one. Those are the ones that really help us NCOs out. I got one right now that is about to leave me and she's, she's a very, very, very strong tech. So that's it y'all that's all i'm gonna say here it's just a short video but i'm gonna do a lot more of these car vlogs so if you like it let me know below and if you want to see more videos like this then make sure you hit that subscribe button like what are you waiting on go now